Yes, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to GAA Fan TV. This is the show, of course, that keeps you up to date with everything that is happening in both football and hurling. And we are here today, guys, to break down this weekend's Connacht final between Galway and Roscommon. A huge game for both these two counties. Of course, they have played each other quite recently over the years, not just uh, in the National League, but of course in Connacht finals. These two play each other quite often, it seems, because uh, the other... Uh, side in Connacht that are normally winning Connacht titles Mayo haven't been there for four years now so huge match for both these two counties and of course I will give my prediction along the way as well of course first of all guys if you are new around here do hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well we have just recently hit 100 subscribers which is pretty cool if I must say so myself of course um, this channel is still relatively new so uh, yeah, fair play to everyone that has subscribed so far. And yeah, of course, if you are new, do subscribe and share this out to as many people as possible. Um, so yeah, guys, huge game for both Galway and Roscommon. Um, Galway, of course, their route to the final was pretty straightforward. They probably had the easiest route um, there, of course. And of course, they are going to get the easiest route being the current uh, Connacht champions, champions, that is just the way the layout of uh, the you know the the way it's just fallen for them this year, of course. So yeah, they beat London quite comfortably. They they had some scares in that game. They certainly weren't up to their very best, but of course they showed a lot of composure and beat Sligo quite comfortably in the end, three eleven to seven points in their last game. Um, and I think all in all. We still don't really know that much about Galway so far this year. Um, in their league campaign, they were quite inconsistent. There were times where it looked like they were going to be battling, uh, you know, for promotion, or sorry, they were going to be battling uh, to get into the league final. Um, but then in the end, they sort of just slipped away, um, and they just never quite had enough consistency throughout their season most notably because Kevin Walsh has rotated their team quite a bit throughout that league campaign and he did so a little bit in their first um, two games against both London and Sligo in terms of players that have impressed me so far this year Liam Silk very uh, good player got himself a goal and I think three points in that match against Sligo of course you do still have tremendous talent in Shane Walsh, probably one of the best um, you know, forwards in the country at the moment. Um, and he is always a player to watch out for for this Galway team. Of course, then, uh, moving across to Roscommon, they've had quite a different route to get to this final. Of course, they had to be the Division 4 champions in their... Or, sorry, Division 4 runners-up in their opening game, where they beat Leitrim quite comfortably. Um, I wasn't sure what to make of them really going into that game because obviously I felt like Leitrim would give more of a fight but Roscommon just really eased through um, and always looked very, very comfortable throughout that game. Of course though, the big victory for Roscommon was when they beat Mayo last time out in Castlebar. Um, what a huge victory that was for Roscommon of course who, um, who hadn't won in, in Castlebar for 25 years so that was a huge achievement Anthony Cunningham's done a really good job with Roscommon getting them to um, another Connacht final and and yeah guys and if I'm going to be perfectly honest a part of me feels like Roscommon might win this I know it's in Pierce Stadium so Galway will have the home advantage um, and they are very you know hard to beat there but this Roscommon team they didn't have any fear against Mayo you know very good team, you know, Connor Cox, in my opinion, was outstanding in that game, hitting five points, um, and he's been a player that I really want to keep my eye on throughout this uh, championship campaign. Of course, you've still got tremendous talent in the likes of Enda Smith, who has been a player who has been very good over the past couple of years. He played a key role when Ross Common beat Galway uh, in the Connacht final two years ago. Of course, Ulton Harney got himself a goal in that game against Mayo as well. Um, very impressed with the way he's conducted himself throughout this season. So I think in an overall spectrum of things, I am expecting uh, quite a decent game of football. Of course, though, we might see the defensive tactics from Galway. We didn't see it too much in the game against Sligo because obviously you're playing a team you should be beating quite comfortably in Galway. They are implementing a bit of a defensive system. It's not quite Fermanagh defensive style, but it certainly is. Um, quite a, a defensive you know, bracket that they've tried to implement and um, at times it does work 
and they may frustrate Roscommon enough and, and you know, pick them off on the counter-attack, basically. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a very close game. Could very well be low scoring. Um, but you've got to fancy Galway, really. I mean, it apparently feels like Roscommon might edge it just because of the form they've been in and because Galway really haven't played any one of, you know, of high standards yet. They've had a very easy route, as I said, to this final. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say that Galway wins. I think they're going to win it by a point. Um, I think it'll be very close. Could very well go to extra time. Um, but I am going to go with Galway to edge it by a point. And of course, Kevin Walsh's men to go through to the Super 8 Championship yet again of course and to be honest with you i fancy ross common to go there as well but of course let me down know down in the comments down below what do you guys think will happen who do you guys think will win this game who will be the standout player and of course guys my name has been aaron and i will catch you all next time